Hello everyone and welcome to another vectoring tutorial. In this video, I want to demonstrate how you can use the pen tool and the path builder tool together to trace any image you want with ease. The whole idea behind Vector Inc. is to make vector design easy for everyone. So when you come into a Vector Inc. project, you know, your tools are here on the left and, you, and the default one selected is going to be the selection tool. Okay, that one is for selecting and dragging objects, if you don't already know. The next one is the point tool. That is for editing paths. And then the one after that is the pen tool. We're going to be using the pen tool. And I'm going to trace this little character right here using the pen tool. And I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, so using the pen tool, the pen tool selected, I'm going to start here at the bottom and I'm going to add a point. Okay, I'm going to add a point by tapping where I want to start the point at. Okay, after I tap, if you're using a touch screen device, don't tap and drag on your first point. That is the default behavior because you think you're drawing and you're not drawing. You're placing points in place and then you're going to adjust those points. So you're going to tap. If you're using a touchscreen device, just tap and tap and let go and then tap in the next, at the next point. If you're using a desktop with a mouse, you're just going to tap, let go, and then move the mouse to the next location. Okay. Then you're going to tap again to lay down the next point. Okay. Now, when you get used to this, you'll, you'll know how to tap. Tap, tap where the curves are. But in this demonstration, I'm going to tap and I'm going to pull the, the handles. I'm going to tap and drag to pull the handles in order to create this curve. So in this next step, when I come here to this bend here, this curve, I'm going to tap and I'm going to pull. Can you see this curve, this bend being created as I pull, as I drag? Okay. If you're using a touchscreen device, just tap and drag. If you're using a mouse, just click and drag. You're going to drag until the, 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 the curve is to your liking and then let go. And then you see now that line is now curved, right? So I'm going to come to this next curve here. I'm going to tap. I'm going to drag. Just like that in the direction of where I want the curve to be. And I'm going to let go once it looks right. Okay. And then here. This looks like more like a little sharp corner. You can tap and drag, but I think I'm just going to tap and let go. And now there are no, you'll notice there are no handles if you just tap and let go. Okay, but let's see. I might want to bend the top here. I'll come back to that. I'm just going to tap right here. All right. And I'm going to tap and drag right here. I'm going to tap and drag right here. And right here, and right here, and there's a bend right here. I'm gonna, um, hmm, I'm gonna come back to that one. I'm gonna tap and drag right here. I'm gonna tap right here, tap right here, and then I'm gonna tap and drag right here. Tap and drag right here, just a little bit, and right here. So I'm dragging, tapping, and dragging. Where all the curves are. And when you get to the end, if you're using a, a desktop, you can hit the escape key or leave this tool, get out of this tool. So if you're using a touchscreen device, hit the point tool. If you're using a desktop, hit the escape key or just change tools in order to exit out of that mode. Right. But now we're coming to the point tool so we can edit what we just created. So being in the point tool, I'm now going to select this drawing this path, and I want to start fixing some of these little mistakes, okay? Starting with some of these lines, like this is a bit of a sharp line. I want to, I want to curve this line a little bit, right? And you can convert this to a curve by a double tapping, okay? And you see with double tapping, it converted it to a curved, a curved a stroke. If I double tap again, it's going to convert it to a straight joint. So double tap to curve the line. I'm going to come up here and I want to bring this one up here to match. Do you see this curvature in the head? If you want to, you can, you can, if you tap here, if you tap on the line, you can literally pull it up a little bit like that. You can, you can pull the stroke. 
you can drag pull and drag a stroke just like so right that's a shortcut from having to come over here at the handles and move them manually okay so there's that um over here i'm going to zoom in and you see these handles you can pull these handles to make edits All right you see this here i can come over here and now so i'm going to come over here and look at these different um these different joints these different joint options right so you have this one for a straight uh joint with no handles then you have this one this one is a mirrored joint okay this one allows this one will have both will mirror both handles so as you move one handle the other handle will mirror mirror its its sibling okay and this option is the default option so they're not mirrored but they rotate together that's not the default option i'm sorry but they're not mirrored but they rotate together and this one is the default option that you'll notice when you first double tap on a segment on a point okay i'm going to use this mirrored option actually no i'm going to come over here because i only want to move this one i'm going to bring this one out a little bit so zoom out and there we go so we have our shape it looks good i'm pleased with it i'm going to move on i'm going to move on to the hair i'm going to show you how to use the the pen tool and the path builder tool together now this is where vector ink is very powerful and is more powerful than others um, when it comes to drawing and i'll show you why so i'm going to use the pen tool and i'm going to go ahead and trace this one also i'm going to start from the outside you notice i'm i'm, I'm stepping over the line here i'm going to tap here right you'll see why i'm stepping over the line i'll show you tap here i'm just going to go ahead and Lay down my path like I did before. And you notice this is very easy, very easy to do once you get used to it. Okay, and now I'm done. So now I have this shape and it's kind of crossing over the lines, right? Typically in, in, in I would say the old days of vector art, you would have to or I would, maybe I was doing it the long way, but I would have to literally maybe copy this path and then cut out, I would have to copy this path and then cut these, cut at the points that I wanted to duplicate and then add this path and then join those paths together. It was a lot of work. Um, now, if you select just this path here, just this one path, and then select the path builder tool. You can now create a path with this path and the paths that it intersects with. Okay, so now when I tap on the selection tool, that other path that I added goes away and is replaced with this new path. All right, so that is where vectoring shines, in my opinion, because it is very very helpful okay now the rest of this we can knock it out easily with the pen tool okay I'll, I'll start here with the eyebrow right really easy or you can use the draw tool the draw tool comes in handy too and you'll notice the draw tool The draw tool has this little swivel at the end. That's the stabilizer. Um, you can get rid of the stabilizer by turning off the stabilizer here in the draw tool properties. Um, but I like the stabilizer, it helps. So I'm gonna show you a, just a quick demonstration of how I would use it. Um, when you're dealing with complex curves like this, the pen tool, it can be a, a, a bit compli complicated right dealing with all the handles and stuff this would create a lot of handles whereas the draw tool with the stabilizer i'm turning the stabilizer up a little bit it makes this much easier to deal with because you're in control of the strokes okay and then even if you let go you can start again where you left off and it will not create a new path it will continue the path that you left off at Okay, but the stabilizer allows the strokes to be very smooth 
and allows you to see where you're going. Right? You can literally do this whole thing with the draw tool and get it done much faster, maybe. So that is the draw tool in action. Now, see the pen tool. I'm not sure whether to use a pen tool or draw tool for this portion. I'm going to try with the draw tool, see how see how it works. But shit, lines like this, the pen tool can handle it just as well. Okay, now we're coming into the eyeball. And what I want to do here is I want to use the, I want to show off the path builder tool power once again. I want to draw this line for the eye. Okay. And now with that line drawn, I'm going to select the path builder tool and cut out the eye. All right. And it colored it white. I want to see through it. So I'm going to tap on the fill color and I'm going to bring the alpha channel all the way down. Okay, now I'm going to do the eyeball. I'm going to double tap on the rectangle tool, select the circle tool, and just drop a circle in here. Oh, it turned off the strokes. No, I have no stroke, so I'm going to increase the alpha channel on that. There we go. And I have the circle. I'm going to put the circle in here. Looks like he's looking this way, so I'm going to put the circle right there. Let it overlap because I'm going to use the path builder tool and cut that out. And I'll just color that black. There we go. So see our character is coming together, looking really nice. And from here, you know, I'll go ahead and finish it. Um, I wanted to keep this tutorial short, but I've gotten this far. Might as well. I'm going to use the pen tool to knock out that part. And then the mustache. I'll use the pen tool for this as well. I'm going to do a little overlapping once again. It looks like it ends at the mouth, so I'm going to stop it right there. I can adjust it right here. I'm going to open up the path properties. Use a mirrored joint and adjust the mustache a little bit. Then I'm going to tap on the path builder tool and cut it out like so. Oh, that undo. That caught too much. Let's try that again. Okay, too much overlap going on. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to tap on join mode in the path builder tool so I can manually join the paths. Sometimes that's needed. The path builder tool is not like the shape builder tool that you that you all know and love in Adobe Illustrator. It is different for a reason. And the reason being is so you can get in there and make custom edits to certain joints, right? It doesn't try to guess and see what you're trying to build. It's meant to be more manual than the shape builder tool. So that way you can do things like this. It's meant to be drawn with, right? It's a, it's, it's more of a drawing tool than it is a, a shape making tool. All right. So that's the path builder tool in a nutshell. Um, and I'm going to use the, mm, I'll use the draw tool for this portion here. The nose, boom, and boom. All right. Oh, and then let's go ahead and knock that out too. Boom. See how the path builder tool is used? Just for, it's, it's it's a drawing tool. Once again, it's I'm not trying to build shapes. You're not always trying to build shapes. Sometimes you just want lines, right? That's what the path. That's why the path builder tool does what it does. I keep getting requests that oh make the path builder tool like the shape builder tool, and that was never the intention. I've used the shape builder tool many times in my career, and it was missing a lot 
that I was looking for. So I, that's why I built the Path Builder tool to do what it does the way it does it. So with that said, that I this is the end of the tutorial. This is how you use the pen tool and the draw tool and the Path Builder tool all together to trace and create wonderful vector art. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. See you next time.